So, uh, if you know me from TikTok, or if you don't know me from TikTok, and this is just on your algorithm, um, I have been using my platform to talk about like mental health and healing from abuse for like two and a half years now. That's what I decided to do on social media after my abusive relationship ended. And I'm trying to get like more, I'm trying to get better with my YouTube. So I guess this is technically a vlog. I don't know. But um, I'm about to go to City MD and see what the fuck is <laughs> happening with my body. Um, and it is related, I think. Well, there are definitely connections between all of this and why I'm making this video and how it has to deal with, like, do with abuse, trauma, yada, yada, yada. So, um, I have these, like, very enlarged red swollen spots, and I've gotten it, like, multiple times throughout my life. And, um, one time it was with the abuser during the pandemic, the lockdown. So I have, like, a lot, I have complex PTSD, I have was diagnosed like last year or whatever diagnosed because it's not recognized by the DSM-5 so technically diagnosed with PTSD but um during lockdown when I was still with my abuser um I had these same spots and I couldn't walk and you know flashback huge fight because he was supposed to take me to City MD and just kept fucking around and waiting and whatever, I think, and then eventually he was fine and nice. I don't know. But, um, I went to City MD because I was nervous that it could be deep vein thrombosis, which is fatal. Uh, and when we went to City MD, because it was a lockdown, they suggested we don't go to, um, the emergency room or that it was a risk because it was literally, like, March or something, 2020. Um... Having a hard time breathing. I've had these spots come up more than once, and it started a couple of days ago, but I was just about to take a nap when I looked at my leg and I was like, holy shit, my foot is so swollen, so red, so spotted. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go to City MD. Uh, so another thing it could be is like cellulitis. My theory is that I might have some sort of autoimmune condition because I've done a lot of reading and research and read a lot about the connections of how trauma and stored trauma and prolonged abuse and complex and all this stuff affects not just your central nervous system but like your auto immune system your immune system <laughs> your immune system resulting in autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis and things like that and, uh, you know, my ex is not the only person who would call me a hypochondriac for, like, you know, getting in touch with and, like, understanding my body. Uh, but anyway, doesn't matter. I'm actually really proud because <laughs> two and a half years ago, you know, like, I thought that, holy shit, I might be dying from COVID or, like, whatever it was. I was freaking out. Right now, I'm literally making a vlog about it and, like breathing through it and telling myself it's all going to be fine and getting dressed to go to City MD and yeah, see what they say. I have a feeling they're going to send me to the emergency room to rule out deep vein thrombosis because there they can scan my veins and my, you know, make sure there's no like blood clots coming up to my brain, heart, whatever, to like, you know, kill me. And I can't believe I'm talking about this so normally and not freaking out right now. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll post an update or something. I, I, let's try out this vlog thing and like, we'll see.